Hello my friends, today I will show you how I did this effect. Of course, you know I used P emitter, but and this is a little similar technique which I show you in my last tutorial, Dr. Sleep. But in this tutorial, in this technique, I add new elements. So step by step, by step of course, we import to flowchart P emitter and P renderer. Of course, in P emitter, we change parameters, maybe start from region, in region, 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 change to bitmap. My region, of course, will be this trouble clef. So I connect this with PMeter region bitmap. Now go to style in style I change point to bitmap and this is my bitmap. Style bitmap. We have this trouble clef uh, and of course uh, now I change parameters in style maybe size in size maybe something like this size size variation you know you set parameters uh, to adjust parameters to your project and i maybe change parameters in size over life in this way it means from this point my particle will be decrease okay it will be dec decrease now i change fade maybe in this way and of course now i add p merge camera p and uh, and renderer 3d of course renderer 3d you know we change to opengl and set camera camera one because this is my camera now i set parameters camera change position camera maybe something like this okay and now of course we need to change uh, parameters in p emitter i think uh, change controls and okay good solution will be add to rotation so go to rotation controls rotation and maybe in z virens 180 okay thanks to this this particle uh, i think it looks uh, better okay so uh, what shall we do now we add um, my friends maybe a little camera movement okay so to go to camera my composition have uh, 250 frames so go to frame one I add keyframe in camera, so I set camera, go to transform and in Z axis I add one keyframe and maybe in this frame, in my end timeline I change position and add next keyframe. Um, I think this camera movement is not good because maybe I change a little, I add, I change a little this, this camera movement, okay? I think it looks better, okay. I show you uh, option, I think this is helpful. If you want to see your p meter, uh, if you want to p meter start in frame one, what I mean, if you go to my friend renderer, p renderer, uh, and at this time in my frame one, I don't see anything. But if you change pre generating frame, this option, maybe 50, used uh, p emitter start working. Uh, I think it means if I change these parameters to 50. P emitter start working using uh, frame 50. I think it's understandable. If I change 10, my P emitter start working from this this 
disposition. Mm, I think it's understandable. I set 50, so when my animation start, I see this composition. Okay, I see this um, trouble clef. So now I add to p directional. Now I add to p, di p directional force because my trouble clef must. Uh, change position and maybe in frame 100 my trouble clef will be uh, disappear okay disappear so go to um, we add to p directional force so p directional force and of course uh, we change position position my force i think maybe 15 and strange of course 0 0 2 Okay, maybe zero, zero, 002 is okay. But uh, in my last tutorial, I showed you good option conditions. And this tab edge is very important. Look at this. If I change this position, P directional force work, start work from, uh, from this place. Because, because I said in P renderer, one in this place 50 because I set 50 in this place I change p emitter controls lifespan maybe 150 okay this is important because now p directional force start working from this place okay look at this you need to adjust every parameters. Remember, adjust p emitter lifespan. Remember, if you change position, if pre-generating frames in p renderer, you need to adjust conditions age. This is important. Okay, I decided maybe in frame 100, uh, in frame, in frame, okay, 100, my trouble clef will be disappeared. So go to p emitter controls and now we add keyframe in number. So maybe in frame maybe in frame 70 I add keyframe and in 75 I add next keyframe but I set zero. Yes? I think this is understandable. Thanks to this, look at this. Mm, show only particle number. It mean in graph. It mean from this place, from this place, from this place. Emitter don't uh, stop generating. Okay. Thanks to this, my trouble graph will disappear. Look at this because my p emitter don't generating particles mm, now we add p turbulence because p turbulence uh, is important so p turbulence p turbulence and of course in p turbulence go to conditions and again we change h okay maybe something like this maybe something like this maybe add more power and this particular you see I think it looks better now we add my friends um, next element maybe this uh, ring this cycle how I did this ring this ring this is shape so I add in my scene next object shape 3d shape 3d my friends and of course shape mm, cylinder you need to change angle so go to transform rotation maybe in x axis 90 change in controls uh, maybe maybe my friends height maybe something like this maybe in this way and of course you uh, need to add subdivision subdivision this is 
important 100 is enough and this object this shape this tube exactly it will be my region which i connect to p emitter this is this object this ring we now create this ring okay and now this object of course now is 3d dimensional object but this object must be 2d dimensional object because my trouble clef is 2d dimensional object this is bitmap so i need to change this object to bitmap but you you remember i have in my scene uh, i add camera movement camera movement camera movement in the axis so this is very important because you need we need use the same camera so i add new merge 3d in this merge 3d my friend i add the same camera the same camera the same camera and then of course i add my friends renderer 3d L renderer 3d of course uh, camera set camera one the same camera this is very important and maybe open gear okay thanks to this thanks to this i have the same camera movement in my ring okay this is understandable of course then change scale but we have the same camera movement this is important okay now you may copy you may copy uh, f f from this uh, place this element uh, maybe copy this p emitter directional force turbulence and p render okay copy this and now i connect my friend this is my region connect to p emitter region bitmap and now we add maybe new element uh, in this place uh, in my trouble clef i use this node uh, but now i use new element maybe my friends uh, it will be not but now in in trouble clef i use not but in my ring i use text plus and it will be sign plus okay it will be sign plus i connect this style bitmap to style bitmap and thanks to this i achieve this element i think uh, in uh, in my ring i change uh, p directional and uh, t turbulence uh, change position because change parameter because is too strong is too strong zero zero one okay now i connect this element this is my ring maybe i add underlay this is my ring i connect this element with this p merge okay this with this so i have this my uh, my ring is now very small is here is here you see so how to change scale you may add of course transform 3d my friend transform 3d and change scale okay maybe eight maybe oh maybe 16 70 okay we have this composition and now we add next effect exactly in my original file in my this this file you see this this ring it looks uh, very good i think this ring you see this is plasma this is plasma so we add plasma plasma is in my friend's tools generating plasma this is this object i set this plasma in this way uh, i only set cycle one then cycle two three four i set none 
and this element uh, size I change size maybe maybe something like this and maybe this is okay and um, I would to my plasma maybe I add color corrector and um, change saturation to zero okay my saturation is zero now I connect with uh, my plasma with my composition with this and change operator in merge I have new merge and in this merge I change operator to a top okay now you see I have this this ring but of course we need to change uh, parameters maybe maybe something like this and in color you know, you, you may adjust uh, parameters to your composition. Maybe something like this. Okay. Maybe is to... Okay. And next uh, effect, this is highlights. So add highlights. Highlights, my friend. And of course in highlights maybe change parameters of course is too strong this ring but um, maybe something like this and uh, I think I add size to my plus this is my bitmap this plus this is my bitmap maybe it looks better oh, too strong too big sorry too big it's too big now we add next effect the focus my friend the focus very often I can in in the focus very often I add polygon because I want uh, add this effect only maybe this fragment invert maybe something like this of course in polygon i add soft edge and thanks to this we have this uh, nice effect the, the focus i use this technique to create my uh, animation it's all in this tutorial uh, i think it's helpful thank you very much for watching i will be glad if you subscribe my channel leave a comment please leave a comment and maybe you have possibility i will be glad if you support my channel development in my patreon of course my composition i add to patreon uh, so see you in the next tutorial